Shavua Tov, Agut Avoch, and welcome to our program. Shabbos morning, we read the Parsha of Aichi, and we screamed, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazik. And Shabbos to Mincha, we started a new Chumash, the Chumash of Shmeis. And as we opened the Parsha, the Chumash and the Parsha, Ve'elu Shmeis b'nei Yisroi l'aboyim mitzrayimu, there's a question, and the question is, these are the names of the Jewish people. We just counted them in Pashas Vayigash. We have all the names of all the Yankiv and all his children. Now, why do they have to be counted again? Rashi senses that question, and Rashi says, Afal on that he counted them bechayehem bishmesom, that he did count them during their lifetime, he's now counting them again after they passed away. And to show the, the love that Almighty God has for the Jewish people. The Medrash, the Rebbe brings a Medrash on this, says that because of Geuloson Shel Yisroel Niskeru Khan. That they are counted here because this Pasha is talking about the Golos. And we're going into Mitzrayim and we're going to come out of Mitzrayim. And this is why they are mentioned again. However, when we look at the when we look at the Padasha, we don't see Gulos on Shal Yisrael. Veilush Mez Bene Yisrael Haboy Mitzraimo. We don't see the Geula. We here we see the Golos. Can can we see the Golos, not the Geula? It's going to be in Mirza Hashem in Parshas Bay that we're going to come out. So you're talking about Shmeis and Voero, and Shmeis is the thick of Golos. Nevertheless, uh, the matter that says that's because of the Geula son shall Yisrael, because of the Geula of the Jewish people that they are mentioned here. How do you reconcile that? We will return to that in a moment. But first, our customary story. I heard a story from a woman who tells the story that happened to her. And uh, she was the recipient of the story. She went for dollars, and she went with an eight-year-old nephew her sister's child. The sister's child needed a broche, and the Rebbe gave the child a broche. And then the Rebbe gives her a dollar, and then another dollar, and the Rebbe says, Arifua Shlema. When she walked out, Arifua Shlema, she didn't ask for a broche for the Arifua Shlema. There was no need, arguably, for a broche for the Arifua Shlema. She felt healthy. But the Rebbe gave her a bloch, gave her a dollar for the four shlema. After that, Rachman al-Islam, she took sick, she took ill. And she had Rachman al-Islam that machle two times. And Bol Hashem, she pulled out. It is now, then, now, that she realized what the Rebbe meant. The Rebbe saw that she's going to need a bloch for the four shlema, and the Rebbe gave her an extra dollar. For the four Shlemo, La Richus Yomim Vishonim Tevis. And we are dedicating this program to this individual, Chana Neche Baschaya Zelda, Le Four Kalevo Shlemo, Vela Richus Yomim Vishonim Tevis. And also to her husband, she said her husband needs a four Shlemo, he's not well. Shneer Zalman Ben Frede Matl. And I want to thank my friend and neighbor, the Shmuel the Lendler, for bringing this story to my attention. Before we go to the answer on our Padsha, Al Shem Golas Yisroel Niskeru Khan, you see on the poster, Chalukas Teda Sarebe, Leregel 70 Shonolin Sius. Yuchvat of Shin Yud, Yuchvat of Shin Pei, and then there is a website. Uh, as you can see, Yuchvat, 
yudshvat70.com. In that website, Rabbi Say, you will see um, all the 250 volumes of the Rebbe's teachings of the tale of the Rebbe are there, and everyone can take something in preparation for you, Chvat. And the Fabringen that was mentioned on this program, the Fabringen of Pulim Lamed Beis, the Rebbe wanted that whoever was thinking of giving the Rebbe a present for the Rebbe's birthday on Yud Aleph Nisan, Tovshin Lamed Beis, so the Rebbe says that it should be connected with Taylor. And in as much, said the Rebbe, that one cannot really ask for what he wants for a birthday, but the Rebbe says there's a purpose for the, bir- for the birthday gift. The, pur- the purpose of the birthday gift is to cause a good feeling, is to cause the Rebbe nachas ruach. So the Rebbe says what is going to cause real nachas ruach? A birthday gift that is connected with Limudat Teda. Now, the Rebbe spoke of this is the Sikhe of Pulim, Tovshin Lamed Beis. The Rebbe did not speak about it, Pulim Tovshin Lamed Aleph. And at top, Pulim Tovshin Lamed Aleph was also known about the Rebbe's birthday. Officially, there was a big Fabereng and Yud Aleph Nisan Tovshin Chof Beis when the Rebbe became 60 years old. It was also known before, but this was an official Fabereng. So the whole world know, knew when the Rebbe's birthday is. Nevertheless, the Rebbe only spoke about that Lamed Beis. The Rebbe did not speak about that Lamed Aleph, and the Rebbe did not speak about that Lamed Gimel. And the simple explanation is that that Chof, that uh, Yud Aleph Nisan, Tovshin Lamed Beis, the Rebbe became 70 years old. So it was a, it was a Shnas Hashivim. It's Shnas Hashivim again. 70 years from the Nisias of the Rebbe. And everyone, without exception, Baruch Hashem, wants to do something to prepare for that great day of the 70 years of the Rebbe's Nisias. I remember there was a family who went into Yechidus before Yud Aleph Nisan, and the Rebbe turned to a little boy, and the Rebbe said, what kind of gift are you going to give me for my birthday? So the Rebbe wants a birthday gift, a gift. Then it was his birthday, 70 years. Now it's 70 years of Nisias. And the gift that the Rebbe will appreciate is a gift that has to do with Limud HaTeder. Boil Hashem, we're talking about 250 volumes. Uh, as of today, 68% of all the 250 volumes, do the math, was already distributed. And Boil Hashem, you'll go on, you'll see, you can get whatever you want, and if somebody already has learned it, it's not a question of assume. Then you can go into Chaluka Beis and Chaluka Gimel and find it there. And in Chaluka Dalet, you can find it in whichever Chaluka you want. Because there are some things that are easier, something Mokim Shali Bechofit, and so on. So it's Yud Shvat 70 that come. Rabbi Isai, concerning the answer, that basically, there's a bigger question. And you know the story. How do we answer one question with the other? And a Gentile once said to a Jew, how come you Jews answer one question with the other? And the Jew looked at him and smiled and said, and why not? So there's a bigger question. We were in Mitzrayim, it says, Abba Meishono. It wasn't 400 years, it was 210 years. For 210 years, Almighty God took a nation of innocent men, women, and children to be tortured in Mitzrayim. How do you reconcile that? How can you do that? How can you torture an innocent person? Now, even if we're talking about one child, one person, man or woman, a whole nation... How do you do that? And the answer is that the Sayyidah like the same answer on the Chulm. That Almighty God is not looking for the Chulm. Almighty God is looking for the Geulah. But sometimes in order for us to get to the Geulah, we have to go through the Yerida Tzayyid HaChaliyah, which is the answer for, for all the problems that we see in the world. There was a great Yerida going in Mitzrayim, but it was for the great Aliyah, of Matan Taylor. 
and there was no other way that we would reach that height. You need to say the Aliyah, that we would no way that we would reach the Aliyah, the height, the supreme height of Matan Taylor, if not for the Yerida. So therefore the Yerida was temporary, although it was a long time, but the Aliyah is eternal. So therefore, what the Medida says, Al Shem Geulas Yisrael Nichtivukan. That if you want to know what is Khan, although you're going to argue, they are going into Mitzrayim. It doesn't say that we are leaving Mitzrayim. We're going into Mitzrayim. So Geulas Yisrael, Khan, Khan is Golus Yisrael. We're going into the depth of Mitzrayim. Nevertheless, the matter says to us that we have to understand the reason why we went to Mitzrayim. That the whole reason we went to Mitzrayim was because of Gulas Yisrael, was because of Gulas Mitzrayim. So through that we can be zeichet to Matan And not only that, while we are in Mitzrayim, while we are in Mitzrayim, what we do is we, we work with Mitzrayim and we refine Mitzrayim. There's a famous Medrash. Bishosh Olo Meshel Amorim, when Meshel Abbeinu went up to the heavens to take the Taylor. Omelu Malachi Asholis, the Malachi Asholis, the heavenly angels were looking at each other and they were saying, Mali Ludisha Beinenu, what's a human being doing here? There goes the neighborhood. We never know who else is going to come up here. We always thought that we live in an exclusive neighborhood. Only malochim, only angels. No crime. No traffic tickets. No, no delinquency. All of a sudden there's a human being here. Who knows who else is going to bring? Me have a family. There goes the neighborhood. And they ask, and what's his name anyway? Who is he? They ask each other. No one knows. No one knows his name. No one knows the purpose of his visit. Until they went over to Almighty God Himself, the Ben Shalilam, Mali Ludisha Beinenu. Who is he? What is he? What does he want? What's his name? What's the purpose? And God said to them, His name is Mesha. He came here to take the tether that I'm going to give him. And the Malachim started crying, and they said, Chem Dognuzo, you have this hidden treasure that you are keeping for generations. I think the Medrash says how many generations. That you have that you have in your in your heavenly treasure treasures. And you are going to give this treasure, the stela, to a human being. Perhaps they will keep the tela. Perhaps not. We have something to offer you. Give the tela to us. We will do everything you want. With these human beings, you make a time for a minion, so seven o'clock. Sometimes it's five to seven, seven. No minion. Maybe, maybe to Yishtabach, to Bochu, we have six people and then ten people. The Ben Shalelom, you want a minion, seven o'clock? We'll be there, as many as you want. And not only that, in the middle of the davening, sometimes you hear this one says a word, an extra word. We are going to be quiet a whole davening. You don't have to worry at all. In Kriya Satera, you don't have to stop the Balkriya because people are talking. We are going to listen with both ears. And the Bain Shalilam, I want to tell you, when you make a speech, you can talk for as long as you want. We don't want anybody looking at their, clock, at, their, at their clock and seeing if the clock is working. Or as they say, some rabbis, when they talk, you have to look at the watch. Some you have to look at the clock. Some you have to look at the calendar. The Ben Shalilam, you can talk for as long as you want. We are not going to disturb you. We will listen to every word you say. And later, when we are out of shul, and we do business on a weekday, you don't have to worry how we're going to act. You don't have to worry what kind of food we're going to eat, whether it's kosher or whatever, whatever it is. 
Or are we going to act in business the way you want us to act? You don't have to worry. We will do everything 100% the way you want. Give it to us. We will do it 100%. And Almighty God said to Meshe Rabbeinu, These Melochim have a taina. Give them a response. Meshe said to Almighty God, Master of, you, of the universe, Yodei Ani, I'm afraid, or Mefachid Ani, Shema Yisad Afuni Behevel Pihem. They will burn me with the heat of their mouths. So Almighty God said to Meshe Rabbeinu, Hold on to my heavenly throne and give them tshuva and give them a response. Meshe Rabbeinu held on to the throne and he looked those malochim squarely in the eye and he said to them, and it's important for our parasha, Klum Mitzrayim yadadetem? Did you go to Mitzrayim like we did? Do you have a Yetzirah? What are you saying? You're going to come to shul at 7 o'clock? Yes. You don't have a Yetzirah to tell you maybe I'll sleep in a little bit. Maybe I'll come to shul a little later. And you don't have a Yetzirah to say to you, maybe I'll talk to my neighbor and find out what's doing. Of course you're going to be there on time. You have no Yetzirah. You're programmed. Suppose for a moment that you will bring a million robots to shul. And the robots will listen and the robots will talk. And if you have a good programmer, the robots will do a good job. And when the chazan uh, is in the middle of Gedusha, Medav and Kodesh, you have to dance Kodesh, all the robots will dance up and down. And if you don't have a good programmer, then those robots, robots can start dancing in the middle of the rabbi's speech. But we have a good programmer, not a problem. Those robots are going to dance Kedusha one time, three times, as many times as you want. So Meshe Rabbeinu says, you're programmed. What's the big chokhmeh? Kulum yitzahoda yesh b'neichem. Do you have a yitzahoda? Do you have an evil inclination? Of course you're going to do right. We have to fight with the yitzahoda. If we were in Shul 7 o'clock, it means that we were victorious over the yitzahoda. And we listen to Kriya Satay that we were victorious over the yitzahoda. And we daven with Amin and Baruch Hu and Shmei, and we do the right thing. That means that we have the upper hand. We were in Mitzrayim, and there in Mitzrayim we conducted ourselves the right way, and we prepared ourselves in Mitzrayim for Matan Teira eternally, forever. That's what we did. And to that, the Malochim cannot answer anything because they are programmed. Of course, they do right. They do whatever Almighty God tells them. It's not up to them. They don't have pchira. They don't have freedom of choice. It's what the program calls for. We have freedom of choice. And therefore, we can be in Mitzrayim and we can transform Mitzrayim. This is the story of the Tzemach Tzedek. A chosid came to him and he said, he wants to go to Eretz Yisrael. Known story. And the Chosid said, the, and the Tzemach Tzedek said, Mach do Eretz Yisroel. The Rebbe relates the story, and the Rebbe asks, Mach do Eretz Yisroel? Do is Eretz Oamim. This is Russia. What the Tzemach Tzedek say, you should transform Russia into Israel? And do what? And do and make a, rev, a, a revolution? And throw over the, the Tsar? The Tzemach Tzedek was not talking about a revolution. The Tzemach Tzedek said, Mach do Eretz Yisroel. If you do over here the right thing, and you work with your friends and with your neighbor, neighbors, you are transforming Eretz Hohamim. You're transforming Russia, where that Chosid was, to Eretz Yisrael. And the same thing, whether a Jew is in Russia or in Poland or in Hungary or in Romania or any place in the world or in the United States in America for that reason. Machdo Eretz Yisrael. We can transform Mitzrayim into Eretz Shedot Yisrael and St. Keno. So that's what it's all about that there is a plan, and in order for us to reach Matan Teira, we had to go to, uh, to Mitzrayim, and the plan continue, continues. We're still in Golos, and, and went through problems and saw this more than Mitzrayim.
over the years. And we're still in Golos. And the news from Eretz Yisrael is not always the best. Why? Because we are going out of Mitzrayim again. We're going out of Golos. We're in the same condition as they, the same Matzev, the same situation as our forefathers in Mitzrayim. They were waiting to go out of Mitzrayim of the Golos, and we are waiting to go out of the perpetual Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim Ogvulim, which means borders and limitations. The Golos that we're in. So therefore, what we can do now, says the Rebbe, is transform this world into Eretz Yisrael. Machdo Eretz Yisrael. And transform, and this is how we can understand the Medrash, Al Shem Gul, Oson Shal Yisrael, Nisker Ukan. The whole thing of going in Mitzrayim, Haboy Mitzrayim, is not Chas for the purpose of Mitzrayim. Almighty God doesn't want us to suffer, but He wants us, he wants us to get out of Mitzrayim, to refine Mitzrayim. So therefore, this is why we have to go in, the Yerido, the descent, Tzelech Aliyah for the great ascent, for the great ascent of Matan Tere, and now, Rabbi say, for the great ascent, the greatest ascent of all, for the great day of these Galos of Melech HaMoshiach, speedily, friends, in our very own days. Uvelachamim. The take if Umiyad Mamish.